Hello, Mike Kroger here, Finale Inventory. In this quick video, we're going to show you how to receive items with lot IDs against a purchase order with the mobile scanner. Let's get started. So I'm going to pull up uh, Finale Inventory here. Let's take a look at your purchase orders. And many times you, um, many businesses, you know, receive items that have lot numbers or batch numbers, for instance. Um, we'll cover serial numbers in another video, but for this instance, let's talk about lot numbers because normally you'll receive m either multiples of the same item with the same lot or maybe multiple lots, and we're going to go over that here. Let's look at uh, this purchase order, uh, 100,006 here. It's got one item on it, PID 3. And we are anticipating or we know that we should receive some lot IDs with it. So where we're going to start? Well, we'll tell you go up here and maybe I'm going to use a print PO with barcodes. And when I do this, it's going to give me a, um, a document here that I can receive against. So I'm going to use this to assist. It's not required. You can actually use the mobile scanner without any piece of paper. Uh, but this is uh, to assist me in this demo here. So now that I've got a copy of the purchase order, let's pull my scanner up here. The first thing I need to do is to sync the scanner. So I'm going to sync the scanner, making sure that it's up to date with the latest information. It's always wise to do that when you start. So as I sync, it's pulling down the latest information from my account. From my account. Now I would want to maybe proceed here. Now I would use this um, this printed uh, PO, and I'm going to scan to receive against it, right? So let's do receive, and then I can use my scanner and scan the barcode of the purchase order. It's going to ask me where am I going to receive this. I can scan that barcode of where I'm receiving it off the shelf at the pallet bay. Um, so I'm just going to click here and choose a location. So let's choose uh, maybe A2. And if you notice here on the screen, I bring this to your attention, there is some these boxes here. One is lame, named Lot ID. Now you need to have that feature turned on, but it is turned on now for this demo and you're seeing Lot ID here. You're also seeing a sublocation. Now sublocation is where we just told it we were receiving it. And if I don't want the scanner to ask me every time I scan, I can lock that. When I lock it, it's going to default to that location that I chose. Okay. And then the other thing here is the quantity box doesn't have a lock on it because it's always going to ask me to confirm what it is I'm receiving. So since I need to record lot ID for this specific item, in this example, I'm going to unlock this lot ID box, okay? So that way the scanner is going to, after I scan the barcode of this item, it will automatically move to the next unlock box to ask about what it is I'm doing. So let's go ahead and receive this uh, first item here. So as I pick up the scanner, I'm going to scan uh, a barcode here. I'm sorry, I touched the wrong key. So as I scan that barcode, Notice how it jumped to the lot ID. So it's it's white now, it's not gray, which means it's anticipating input. And the, the arrow is here, which means this is what you should be concentrating on. Now, if I have a barcode of a lot ID, I could scan that barcode of a lot of the lot ID. Now some products have barcodes for the lot or the batch number. Many do not. Now I'm going to show you. I can just take the scanner and scan a lot ID here. So if I chose, it, it actually entered the lot ID. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, it's kind of telling you what you can't see. Okay, so it's all in that dialog box. But let's say maybe that's not um, what... Uh, it, maybe I didn't have a barcode. You can click in that field, and as I click in that field, I can see what I scan, but I could also use the keyboard on the scanner itself. You can click on the keyboard at the top of the screen, and you could actually type in a lot code. So if I wanted to type in a lot code, I would, you know, um, pull up maybe the number, and maybe there's a uh, there's digits involved. So as I enter in the lot number here, and there could be letters involved in that too, so I could do that. However, I am recording the information, so maybe this is my lot code. So I can hit enter here. Now, as I hit enter, I've showed you how to either scan the lot ID in, or you click in the box and you can type it in. Now, I'm going to say all three of these are, we're going to maybe assume that they're the same lot ID. So if they are the same lot ID, I would just hit enter. But what if maybe 
two of them came in with one lot ID and another one came with another a different lot ID. So I could hit the down arrow and that will like take away one from the anticipated three units and I can hit enter. And then I would scan maybe the barcode again. So I could scan the same item again and to record that I've got a different lot coming in. So as I scan that, notice how the scanner is intelligent. It knows there's only one left. It would receive two of them. And then maybe I would record a different lot code. So if I make this one 888, um, you know, AAA, which is totally different than the other one, I could now receive a different lot code. So as I receive the second lot on the screen there, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. It's going to confirm, hey, there's only one of that one. That's correct, because we only ordered three. So we got two of one lot ID, one of another. So I hit Enter. Now we received three of three. So if you look at the bottom of the screen there, it's actually showing you three of three. So I can hit the menu, and I confirm everything that I'm doing here. And you'll see that we received three of three. So I'm going to hit Done. I'm ready to send this up to the cloud. So I'm going to say Menu, Exit to Main Menu. And of course, the sync there shows an asterisk, which means we've done something on the scanner that we need to send up. So let's go back here. You can see how this receipt is not received. I'm going to go out here and show you that this purchase order here, it shows as not received. So as I hit sync here, let's send this up. We're showing you how you can receive lot IDs with the scanner. And as it um, confirms who I am, it's negotiating here. I'm going to say sync it up. Watch right here as it fully receives it. So it's sent it up and we can go check out those lots. So how would we see that? I can click on that lot on that order ID. Let me turn down this scanner here. We can go to the shipment tab and you'd see over in the area where the lots are. Now in this particular instance is a good example. I don't have lot IDs turned on. So how do I see those lots? So you need to make sure you've enabled the lot ID feature. So as I go to application settings, I'm going to go to the product tab and we're going to make sure that lot IDs are turned on. So I'm going to enable that feature. I'm going to save that change and that will allow you to see those lot IDs. So I'm going to go back to the purchase order here and I'm going to pull up the purchase order again, go to the shipment tab, and you will see that it says mixed lot IDs. Remember, we received two with one lot ID and one with another. So you can see them there now. So now you can see where that information is stored. We received one of that one and two of this lot ID. And that would also be reflected if we were to go look at PID from the stock screen, you would see how the PID uh, number, I guess that was number three maybe, had the different lots. You see how those are recorded there. That's how you receive lot IDs with the mobile scanner.